Another day, another story. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Gather with one another for food and recite the name of Allah, by which food will become blessed for you. Abu Dawud. There once lived in a family two sisters, Aisha and Medina. When the girls grew older, they helped their mother in the kitchen. They tried to help their mother equally but it so happened that when Aisha cooked something everybody admired her cooking and everybody said that they'd never had anything more delicious, but when Medina cooked something nobody liked her food. Even though Medina tried and did everything as her mother and sister Aisha did, but nothing worked out for her. And every day Medina became more and more offended because of it, and her heart was filled with black envy of her sister's skills. Medina decided by all means learn to cook better than her sister. That everyone would praise her, Medina, and not Aisha. Medina asked her parents to send her to her grandmother. Their grandmother was a very good cook, and her skills were famous all around. The parents thought about it and agreed. Medina stayed with her grandmother all summer long, spending every day in the kitchen, she studied diligently, memorized everything. She learned to cook the most complicated dishes, learned all the subtleties and secrets, and in the fall, happy, went home. At last I shall surpass my sister in skill, Medina rejoiced. As soon as she returned, she immediately went into the kitchen, she was so eager to show off her skills. She cooked the most difficult and exquisite dishes, she worked all day long without rest, and in the evening she laid a fine table. And they invited all the neighbors for a festive dinner. The guests gathered and began to eat a variety of dishes. And Medina stood and waited for the praise and rapturous responses, but they did not praise her as she wanted. Medina could hardly hold back her tears, she could not understand why her dishes were not admired by everybody. She could not stand it and rushed to her sister. Ah Aisha! What are you hiding? Tell me your secrets immediately. Aisha was even frightened, she could not understand why her sister was shouting. Subhanallah! Medina! Allah is my witness! I'm not hiding anything, especially from you, my beloved sister. What happened? What have I done to offend you? And Medina could not calm down. Why? Why does your food taste so good? No one liked my most complicated and exquisite dishes. And even your millet gruel is praised by everyone. What do you do to make everyone like your food? What? Tell me. I thought I knew all the secrets and tricks, but you still make better food, Medina finished and cried. Aisha came up to her, hugged her and said. My little sister, why didn't you ask right away? Yes, I know how to make the simplest food unusually tasty and useful. And it's no secret. Medina jumped at the news, her eyes shone with impatience. Ah, uh, don't be stingy. How to do so? Maybe add a special spice? Aisha smiled. Medina, the most important thing in cooking is intention. It's when you start cooking in the name of Allah by saying Bismillah. When you cook with a good mood. When you ask Allah to make this food tasty and healthy. And the best condiments for food are the remembrance of Allah Almighty. Whenever I cook, I read surahs from the Holy Quran and do zikr. And I always thank Allah Almighty when I finish cooking and ask that this food will bring only good. That is what makes my food unusually tasty and healthy, by the grace of Allah, holy and great. That is the whole secret, Aisha said and hugged her sister. Medina couldn't believe it. Is it really that simple? Aisha laughed and said. Try it. The most important thing is to believe in it with your soul and ask for help from Allah, and he will help you. The next morning Medina got up before everyone else and decided to make breakfast, the simplest porridge. She did everything as Aisha had told her. The porridge was ready, Medina invited her family to the table. The first person to taste the dish was Aisha, she ate a spoonful of porridge and smiled. Subhanallah! What a tasty porridge! Alhamdulillah! And all the family confirmed it, said that the porridge was wonderful, and they ate it all and asked for more.